Hey, hey, it's Rob, and uh, somebody asked me to make a little video to show... All right, well, I volunteered to make the video, but somebody asked me how you get into channels 7 and 8 of the Sound Devices 833 recorder. You'll notice uh, track 2 there, Little Yachty. How about that? I uh, did a little work with that guy. He was a lot of fun last week. Uh, anyway, so how do I get to tracks 7 and 8 and control inputs, outputs, that sort of thing with the 833? I'm going to use my 633 because this is a good excuse just to pull it out and make sure it still works. I drag it with me all the time, but uh, who knows at this point? Uh, it's been a perfect machine, actually. Um, so I'm starting tone on the 633. I've got a left indent. If for whatever reason you're not familiar with that, that is a great setting to have, which I'm not sure if you can do on an A33. Someone said you could. I haven't seen it yet. But uh, anyway, it identifies the, uh, I guess it's a left ident. <laughs> it identifies the left channel. So if you're running out to two different uh, cameras or whatever, you can make sure your left is on your left, your right is on your right. Coming out of the XLR outs. I bought a cable here and I bought the wrong uh, way around, but anyway, I've got two XLRs with turnarounds here to get my output of my 633 over to my 833. Way back in here, you're gonna plug in to all the way up in there, which is the, uh, uh, the return uh, jack of your 833, that's three and four. We don't use that, we use the return jack. And um, there we are. So look at that, you see a little, I didn't notice that before. You see a little ghost, but the ghost is grayed out. So I've got to go, sorry, there's junk hanging all over this. I gotta go to my menu, real easy right there, channel seven and eight. Let's go to seven. I'm going to hit my return switch here. And that will arm the track. Now I'm seeing the level. And the left side, of course, goes up and down because I have it set that way from the 633. Uh, I can just run through the uh, menu here real quick. And, oh, uh, which knob? That one I gotta do. <laughs> uh, anyway, there's my trim. If I wanna bring the level up or down, can I focus on that new iPhone? Eh, maybe not. Anyway, it turns, oh, you can kinda see it. Turns orange, I can change the levels here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We'll just leave it where it was. You've got uh, tons of <laughs> options here, way more than the 633. You can do a low cut, you can filter, you can delay the channel, change the phase, add the limiter, pretty much anything you can do on any of the main channels of the 833, with the exception of you just don't have the physical controls. So right there is your trim. And if we zip over, Oops, I hit that. This is all blurry anyway. Not really great production value. Come on, iPhone. What if I change it to this lens? No, wrong way. This lens? Let's see if that better. Ooh, look at that. All right, so <laughs> much better. All right, now we see the uh, trim here has been set to six. How do I set my output? I just go over there on the little wheel. Select fader. Now I can... Can I see that? Infinite, it says, all right, that means off. And then bring my fader up. Um, for the uses I needed this for before, I didn't need any of it to come out. I was just recording two separate tracks, so I'm gonna keep it down on infinite. I didn't need an output. Uh, uh, the ISO can be pre or post. You, you can add EQ, you can add it to your auto mix. You can really do anything, add it to different buses. So, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, We'll back out here to show you one more time. Channel eight there. We'll hit it, return, arm it. And again, you'll have all the controls there. If I go back, now I'm seeing my channel uh, seven and eight next to a little Yachty bopping up and down. And that's it. That's how you get into channel seven and eight. Uh, like the week after I bought this machine, we'll go back to, ah, got it now. Uh, we'll go back to uh, normal view, and uh, yeah, no sooner did I buy this than I actually needed the 7 and 8. I don't do a whole lot of reality running around with this where I would need a ton of receivers and that kind of thing. Usually if I do reality, I'm using their bag, but you know, I've got 
five receivers in this bag at the moment. A couple hops. I like to keep it simple, but the 833 has been great. Uh, uses a lot more power, that's for sure. I could probably almost get through the day on a smart battery on my 633 versus I probably need about three. <laughs> if I'm lucky I'll get to lunch on this, but uh, more often than not, I'll switch it out even before lunch sometime, before rolling. Of course, it's nice to have your uh, trim controls, your inputs uh, on all six of these channels now versus what we didn't have before on the 633. And just a million different options for, um, bang, can I get that to focus again? Hey, a million different options for outputs and uh, things like EQ, limiters, low cuts, things that you just didn't have control over before that you do now on the 833. So there we go. Uh, I'll keep it, uh, well, I never keep it short, but sort of simple. And that's how you get into your menus for channels 7 and 8 on your 833. All right, I'm out. Peace.